Social science fiction is a subgenre of science fiction, usually but not necessarily soft science fiction, concerned less with technology, space opera and more with speculation about society. In other words, it absorbs and discusses anthropology and speculates about human behavior and interactions. Exploration of fictional societies is a significant aspect of science fiction, allowing it to perform predictive The Time Machine 1895, The Final Circle of Paradise 1965 and Precautionary Brave New World 1932, 1984, 1949, Childhood's End, Fahrenheit 451 1953 functions to criticize the contemporary world. Gulliver's Travels, 1726, the works of Alexander Gromov, 1995 present, and to present solutions, Walden II, Freedom, to portray alternative societies, World of the Noon, and to examine the implications of ethical principles, as for example in the works of Sergei Lukyanenko. Topic in English. Social fiction is a broad term to describe any work of speculative fiction that features social commentary as opposed to, say, hypothetical technology in the foreground. Social science fiction is a subgenre thereof, where social commentary cultural or political takes place in a sci-fi universe. Utopian and dystopian fiction is a classic, polarized genre of social science fiction, although most works of science fiction can be interpreted as having social commentary of some kind or other as an important feature. It is not uncommon, therefore, for a sci-fi work to be labeled as social sci-fi as well as numerous other categories. Thomas More's book Utopia 1516 represents an early example of the genre. Another early classic writer, Jonathan Swift, penned critical views on current society. His most famous work, Gulliver's Travels, 1726, is an example of a novel that is partially social science fiction with such classic sci-fi elements as pioneering in strange new worlds and experimenting with variations of the human anatomy and partially high fantasy, e.g., fantastical races that satirize various sectors of society. One of the writers who used science fiction to explore the sociology of near-future topics was H. G. Wells, with his classic The Time Machine 1895 revealing the human race diverging into separate branches of Eloys and Morlocks as a consequence of class inequality, a happy pastoral society of Eloys preyed upon by the Morlocks but yet needing them to keep their world functioning a thinly veiled criticism of capitalist society, where the exploiter class, or the bourgeoisie, is symbolized by the useless, frivolous alloys, and the exploited working class, or the proletariat, is represented by the subterranean dwelling, malnourished Morlocks. Wells' The Sleeper Awakes 1899, predicted the spirit of the 20th century, technically advanced, undemocratic and bloody. Next to prognoses of the future of society if current social problems persisted, as well as depictions of alien societies that are exaggerated versions of ours exemplified by the War of the Worlds of 1897, Wells also heavily criticized the then popular concept of vivisection, experimental psychiatry and research that was done for the purpose of restructuring the human mind and memory clearly emphasized in The Island of Dr. Moreau, 1896. Other early examples of influential novels include Vril, The Power of the Coming Race 1871, by Edward Bulwer-Lytton, Erephon by Samuel Butler, Looking Backward, 2000–1887 by Edward Bellamy and News from Nowhere 1890, by William Morris In the U.S. the new trend of science fiction away from gadgets and space opera and toward speculation about the human condition was championed in pulp magazines of the 1940s by authors such as Robert A. Heinlein and by Isaac Asimov, who coined the term, "...social science fiction," to describe his own work. The term is not often used today except in the context of referring specifically to the changes that took place in the 1940s, but the subgenre it defines is still a mainstay of science fiction. Utopian fiction eventually gave birth to a negative and often more cynical genre, known as dystopian, Aldous Huxley's 
Negative Utopia, Brave New World 1932 and Animal Farm 1945 and 1984 1949 by George Orwell. The thought destroying force of McCarthyism influenced Ray Bradbury's Fahrenheit 451 1953. Examples of young adult dystopian fiction include The Hunger Games 2008 by Suzanne Collins, The House of the Scorpion 2002 by Nancy Farmer, Divergent 2011 by Veronica Roth, The Maze Runner 2009 by James Dashner, and Delirium 2011 by Lauren Oliver. The Chrysalids 1955 by John Wyndham explored the society of several telepathic children in a world hostile to such differences. Robert Sheckley studied polar civilizations of criminal instability in his 1960 novel The Status Civilization. The modern era of social science fiction began with the 1960s, when authors such as Harlan Ellison, Brian Aldiss, William Gibson and Frank Herbert wrote novels and stories that reflected real-world political developments and ecological issues, but also experimented in creating hypothetical societies of the future or of parallel populated planets. Ellison's main theme was the protest against increasing militarism. Kurt Vonnegut wrote Slaughterhouse Five, 1969, which used the science fiction storytelling device of time travel to explore anti war, moral, and sociological themes. Frederick Pohl's series Gateway 1977 combined social science fiction with hard science fiction. Modern exponents of social science fiction in the Campbellian, Heinlein tradition include L. Neil Smith who wrote both The Probability Brooch 1981 and Palace, which dealt with alternative, sideways in time, futures and what a libertarian society would look like. He is considered the heir to Robert A. Heinlein's individualism and libertarianism in science fiction. Kim Stanley Robinson explored different models of the future in his Three Californias trilogy, 1984, 1988, 1990. The Saga of Recluse, 1991 present, by L. E. Modisett Jr. represents a fusion of science fiction and fantasy that can be described as social science fiction. The 13 books of the series describe the changing relationships between two technologically advanced cultures and the cultures of a primitive world to which each is involuntarily transported. Themes of gender stereotyping, sexism, ethics, economics, environmentalism and politics are explored in the course of the series, which examines the world through the eyes of all its protagonists. Doris Lessing won the 2007 Nobel Prize for Literature. Although mostly known for her mainstream works, she wrote numerous notable works of social science fiction, including Memoirs of a Survivor 1974, Briefing for a Descent into Hell 1971, The Canopus in Argos series 1974 to 1983, and The Cleft 2007. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Examples from the 1940s. Isaac Asimov, Nightfall, 1941 Isaac Asimov, The Foundation Series, 1942 Karen Boy, Calacane, 1940 Robert A. Heinlein, If This Goes On—1940 Robert A. Heinlein, Beyond This Horizon, 1942 George R. Stewart, Earth Abides, 1949 George Orwell, 1984–1949 Topic. See also Anthropological science fiction Cyberpunk Design fiction Fable Libertarian science fiction Political ideas in science fiction